Okay, part two here. Um, let me show you this first part. So I'm using these. Uh, do I'm gonna do the picture change here. Um, so when you go over this game maker, will automatically change these pictures to randomly. And then when you press the enter button, it changes it. So basically, when you press enter, it, it randomly chooses it. So at the beginning, it changes it, um, and then you, you're able to press it on the enter button, and it will change automatically here. So Game Maker does this automatically. So let me show you what I did. So in the image, random image, you just you have all these images here that animate, of course, from image zero to image five here. Game Maker will choose any of these images here. And randomly plot them on this room here and so the script for that is script one and you want to make sure that you set the image speed to zero so when that that way it's not going to animate it's going to stay at image zero at image zero which is this image right here and then you tell it game maker baker basically right here that you want game maker to choose randomly um, through all these images I have image 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yeah. So I have up to f 6 images here pretty much and Game Maker is going to choose through those 6 what they want to put in this room every time you press the enter button or when it first starts the game it will randomly choose. Uh, you can have up to 16 numbers here. So th I mean this would be great I guess if you when you're doing your game bad guys you know you can just plot one bad guy in the room and then a game maker you know randomly choose a bad guy within your image that you have so you could have a number of bad guys in here and then game maker will choose which bad guy to, to put up there in the game at the in the beginning of the room um and then so all you do is uh add a create event here and then drop in a Execute script, script one, which is right here. Make sure you label it script one. And I just talked about this. And there's also a button here. So when I press the left press button, I'm going to go to, I'm going to drag over a reset game in main tube. It's going to reset the game, reset the room. Uh, when I go over the when I go over the button, it's going to turn green. Make sure it's set to 100 because if you do 50, it's going to be light green on the on the button. Then when I mouse leave, it's going to go to yellow, or it's going to you can do yellow or white here, which will go back to the original color. And that's pretty much it. And like I said, Game Maker will automatically choose one of these images at the beginning. You probably, I don't know, you probably, yeah, yeah, I wouldn't, I'm trying to think, probably could have the button do it at the beginning, like, like you don't have to have, in the random images, you probably could, probably could cut this out, right, out of the images, if you didn't want it to be randomly when you first start. And then uh, paste it in here, maybe, and change the object to object random image. So maybe at the beginning. Uh, oh, sorry. I know that was harsh there. Um, great image. No, I'm just trying to play around with this real quick image index equals zero uh, I don't that's not gonna work I was trying to make this image index zero right so it stays with all it stays these same images here and then when you press enter then it switches and it's not, it's not doing it for some reason. Um, yeah, 
Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I was trying to figure out how to get it where it's just frozen with that one image there. But anyways, I've already talked about that. So, basically, Game Maker will automatically randomly choose at the beginning, you know, then you press enter to change it, change it, change it by resetting the room pretty much. And then the last thing we're talking about will be the minutes here. So the minutes, um, it randomly chooses minutes. So you press OK several times and then it goes to the room. So it goes to the room now. So the only thing you do here pretty much, random number to a crate, coded script. And make sure it's the same name, script 2, script 2. Random set seed, so you can change this to current hour <coughs> or current minute. Um, and or months or time, weeks, years. To me, it I don't any any of these you choose. It pretty much shows the same, like decimal place. I mean, it has a decimal place for some reason. So. Here, I want to repeat 10 times, so you press the OK button 10 times, and then it'll go to the room. You could change that to, like, 3 if you wanted to, so you only do it 3 times. When you press Enter 3 times, and it goes to the room. Then this pretty much determines how many decimal places the number is going to be in. So, 1, so let me see. So, it pretty much gives you 2 decimal places. After 3 tries, it goes to the room. Um, and like I said, you could do, you could change this to like, what, 10 if you wanted to. I wonder if you do zero. I wonder what that would happen. What would happen if I do zero? Oh, it just does zero. Okay. I was just trying to see if it would do something else, like a whole number. I was trying to get to do a whole number. Um, and I guess it doesn't work that way. So you could do two hundred and it would give you different see it gives you now it gives two decimal places but you have numbers on the right and numbers on the left and then like I said you could you could change this to like something else you could do year you could do minutes months current time I guess so I think you use like military time pretty much so that's how that's how you can do the the minutes there randomly all right well thanks for watching